be a pediatric uh, anesthesiologist, also a, a part of the pain management team. So we manage a pain after surgery in children. We want to make sure pain is well controlled in children before they go home. 50% of them do really well without any problems with pain medication, but other 50% uh, of them either have inadequate pain control or excessive side effects. So uh, we have been doing this uh, pharmacogenetic research with pain medications in children undergoing tonsillectomy for the last eight years. And uh, what we have found is that we can predict reliably even before surgery, who will have problems after surgery with pain and who will have side effects with the opioids. We are expanding this research to uh, other surgical population as well. We are able to uh, even do protein preoperative genotyping before surgery uh, and we tailor uh, postoperative pain management based on the genotype uh, of the child. So uh, we are able to uh, even uh, do personalized uh, pain management, perioperative pain management in children, uh, which uh, is very unique in pediatric uh, uh, setup. No one else in the country is doing, uh, so we are the pioneer or leader in that area. The next thing we want to do is, besides personalizing postoperative pain management, uh, what we would like to do is some children, say after major surgery, like pector surgery. Pector surgery is the most painful surgery in children. And uh, children not only have pain for two weeks immediately after surgery, some go on to have chronic pain year after, or even five years after surgery. So the chronic postoperative pain, we can predict based on the genotype. So we would like to develop a test. Who is at risk for persistent postoperative pain a year from uh, surgery? If we can do that, we can minimize the risk of suffering and uh, pain uh, uh, proactively. And also, another thing we are working on is um, uh, opioid addiction is a big problem in uh, the community. And we are uh, able to find who is at risk of uh, opioid abuse and uh, dependence and addiction, and who is at risk for death from opioid abuse. So uh, I think if we can uh, implement all that, that will be a dream come true.